Hello, I'm Troy Scott, Product Marketing Manager at Synopsys. I'm pleased to introduce you to the next generation of design and debug tools for the HAP series Synopsys Protocompiler. Here's a high-level view of the interface between a HAP series system and protocompiler. Design and utilities help migrate RTL, IP, and constraints of the ASIC design into the FPGAs and HAPS track daughterboard resources of a HAP system. After the implementation phase, runtime utilities automate system, configuration, bring up, and RTL debug of the live system. Finally, Protocompiler provides communication APIs to allow connection between a host PC and the prototype for advanced validation scenarios. Based on feedback from some of the world's leading semiconductor design teams, we've identified three major areas where designers spend time in the prototype implementation process. They are design preparation, design partitioning, and prototype bring up. Protocompiler was designed to provide automation in each of these areas to reduce the bring up schedule. Let's focus on the design partitioning task. Traditionally, developing a feasible partition is a difficult problem, something like the classic, what came first, the chicken or the egg, because there usually is a circular dependency between the topology of the FPGA-based prototype system and the architecture of the ASIC design. And so, it can be challenging to know where to start the partition task. For example, locking daughterboard locations and a cable pattern of a HAP system before accounting for the design can undermine system performance if a high level of signal multiplexing is required to connect signals. However, using the ASIC design architecture exclusively to floor plan the prototype could introduce FPGA resource overflows and undermine performance if the floor plan doesn't account for the prototype's FPGA resources. To help reduce the uncertainty of how to approach the problem and accelerate the partition and system route solution, Protocompiler was designed to allow you to explore and analyze the ASIC design and prototypes topology in a concurrent way, so you can assess what ASIC design objects that should be clustered, while at the same time accounting for the impact to FPGA logic and interconnect resources. To model the resources available to host the ASIC design, Protocompiler uses a target system specification. In this refinement, Bins are defined to allocate top-level IOs to each FPGA. Next, PLL and FPGA clock sources are defined as global clock drivers of the system. Our simple specification for the HAP system is now complete, and we can move on to constraints that reflect the architecture of the ASIC design. Here's an example of a partition constraint that defines design ports available to each FPGA and a cable pattern to connect the FPGAs. These constraints reflect the conventions of the ASIC design's architecture, and we can now run the automated partition engine and review the initial results. The engine is very fast, which makes iteration and refinement of constraints to find a better fit or performance go quickly. The user interface provides easy access to processing tasks, database navigation, and reports. Further refinements of either the target system specification or partition constraints can be done to find a better quality fit. Some examples might include adding abstract cable connection between FPGAs, assigning large ASIC blocks to a specific FPGA, or locking ports for external interfaces. Protocompiler allows you to concurrently floor plan the ASIC design based on its architecture while at the same time fine-tuning the HAP system floor plan to fit the design logic and produce the fastest operational system. Thanks for watching.